in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this easy gold scarpet strategy and we're going to be taking a look at this strategy on the five minute time frame but before i actually get into today's video so if you guys want access to my signals on discord the link is going to be down below in the description all you have to do is to just click the link down below in the description and you guys would definitely get access so let's get back to today's video so now to use this gold scalping strategy on the five minute time frame there are two things we need to make sure we figure out and make sure we identify before we take any positions now those two things that you actually need to identify is you need to figure out and identify your highs and your low and that is actually the key to making this strategy work for you so we're going to be identifying our highs and our lows once you are able to identify your highs and your lows then using this strategy will come so easy for you because all you have to do is to just identify your highs and your lows and patiently sit and wait for your entry so now right here over here we can see that looking here on the five minute time frame we had our most recent low down here so we trying to figure out and identify our most recent highs and our most recent lows that's the key to making this strategy work for you so we have this low here and then we also have this high over here so we have this high right here as well so now once you've identified your highs and your lows now what you're going to do is i'm going to put this in replay mode and show you guys where your entry is going to be for this buy position so let's see here we're going to put this in replay mode and we're just going to start from right over here So we'll just start from right over there and let's see where our entry is going to be so now for you to get in this position in this buy position you wait for the breakout and then you wait for the retest you wait for price to pull back to this previous resistance now this now became a demand zone if you're going to call it if you can call it that as well and now you have your entry your entry is going to be at this bullish candle because you're waiting to see a bullish candle after the retest and then you can get in your buy position so we'll have our entry right over here and we can have our stop loss right below uh, this zone over here and we can target 20 pips right there and for our take profit target we can have our take profit right over here at this previous high as well because this is our next high looking here to the left hand side so that's going to be our take profit target and you have your first take profit here you have your first take profit right over here and we're looking at 47 pips right there and as you guys can see we got our first take profit smashed as well so and if you're just using one take profit then this trade was definitely a winner for you but if you're looking to take more to look for more take profit zones and we can have the next take profit target over here because this is another high right over here remember what i told you guys we're only looking for the highs and our lows for our entry and also for our take profit target so we have another zone right over there that we can actually target right there and as you guys can see this take profit target also actually got smashed as well because we're only going to target this zone here and altogether this take profit 
this trade was actually a 72 pip trade and you actually won this trade as you guys can see so this is exactly how you use this strategy to take a buy position you simply wait for the for price to break your previous high and you wait for a pullback for price to come back and we test that same zone and then you once you see a bullish candle then that's gonna be your entry right there and then you get in the trade you take your buy position you look for the next high on the left hand side and that's gonna be your take profit target as well but if you're not looking to target your zone maybe you're just looking to get 20 pips or 50 pips and then you know, just do the same thing and your, ta your take profit target could be for example um, let's see over here so the first take profit target here we had was uh, was uh, for 47 pips and if you're looking for 20 pips that means your take profit would have been somewhere yeah your take profit would have been somewhere over here and if you're looking for 30 pips then your take profit would have been somewhere right over here as you guys can see so this is how you use this strategy to take a buy position so let's look for a sell position here let me delete all this so we're going to look for a sell position um let's see here let's see okay we can we can use this here so now to take a sell position and to use this strategy i recommend only trading during the london session or the new york session those are my, you know the two trading sessions that i prefer but I usually trade the New York session more than I trade the London session. So you can use this strategy on the, for the London session or the New York session. So now, looking at this sell position here, what we need to figure out here is we need to figure out our highs. So we have our high over here. So this was our most recent high here on the five minute time frame and we look for our most recent low so this was our most recent low so we have our most recent low here because we just need to focus on our most recent highs and our most recent low that's all we're doing so that was our that's our high and our low as well so now once we've identified our highs and our lows let me put this in replay mode as well and show you what we're going to be looking for for us to get in a sell position so as you guys can see we have we have price broke below our previous low here now we're waiting for a pullback now the pullback we're waiting for just like in the buy position we need to see a bullish candle touch the previous low meaning to pull back to the previous low and when when i say a bullish candle i'm talking about the week we need the week to actually touch the previous high the previous low not the body just the week just like what you see over here this is the this is the week right over here so that's what i'm talking about so i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about where our entry is going to be here so we're just waiting to see that that's all we're doing right now so you could have gotten got in right over here but like i told you guys earlier we we do not want the body to touch our previous high, our previous low we need the week this week right here if this week i touched this previous high over here then and we see a bearish candle then that would have been our entry so all we got to do here we just got to keep waiting so let's keep looking here now you see guys this is what i'm talking about when this bu bu bullish candle closed the body closed below our previous high as you guys can see right over here this week touched the previous low 
Let's see if you guys can see this. So that week right there touched the previous low. Now we will have our entry here at this bearish candle right over here. So this is going to be our entry. The, the, the two reasons why waiting for a retest is to avoid two things. is to avoid a drawdown and to avoid a fake out. That's the two benefits of waiting to see a retest when you're scalping. So we'll have our entry right over there and we can have our stop loss right above this zone here for 20 peeps. And for to look for our take profit target, we just got to uh, go here to the left hand side and look for a potential take profit target. And we see that we could potentially target this zone over here so we could potentially target this zone right over here just gonna move this a little bit uh, here now we can target that zone right there so if we're looking for more take profit all we got to do here is to look to the left hand side and let's see if we can actually find um, another zone here so we can also target this zone here i'm still looking to see yeah so we can target this zone and not this zone right over here so what we're simply doing is that we just you know anticipating that price is actually going to get to these two zones that we have here now so uh, let's move this all the way here I like to use the uh, the rectangle tool for my zone, guys. I do not like using the um, the horizontal the horizontal line tool. I rather use this rectangle tool here. The horizontal ray tool, I could just you know place it there once and then you know that's it. But I like you know doing it this way. So now we have our potential to take profit zones on our chart now so we will anticipate that price is going to get to this first zone here so this first zone here is 29 pips and we have our final take profit here we're looking at let's see here we're looking at 50 pips here stop loss 21 pips risk to reward ratio 2 to 4 so let's see how this trade played out right there we got our take profit smashed for 50 pips very easy strategy to use guys it's no rocket science just remember like i told you guys all you have to do is to either trade this on the london session or the new york session and figure out your highs and your lows once you able to identify your highs and your lows because that is the key to using this strategy when it comes to trading you really do not need no indicators at all because every single indicators they all lack in my own opinion so using price action is the best way to trade so just make sure you able to identify your highs and your lows so guys that's it for me in this video i hope you guys found value in this video and if you found value in this video all i ask is that you give this video a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future videos and like i showed you guys earlier if you want access to my signals my trading ideas my trading community on discord the link is going to be down below in the description and also january next year i'm starting a challenge so if you want to take part in that challenge with us just join the discord trading community the link is down below thank you guys for watching god bless you all and i'll see you guys at the top because the bottom is way too crowded god bless you all peace and love